You know what I think it's time for? What? I think it's time for some change. All right, Obama. Welcome to the show. You know how I know you're a Jew? Because you didn't just leave that shit there. Uh, it's a quarter. Exactly. Nobody leaves quarters behind. Especially not Jews. Especially not Jews. Good eye. Put the change away. It's funny if you think about it in that sense. You're stupid. <laughs> I am Michael Lee, also known as Super John. Like the toilet? Shit in my mouth. <laughs> I'm Anthony Anley. You know, when you put the words on the bottom, I mean, we don't have to say it. Whatever. Anyway. I, um, was, I was just holding my name. I read some interesting stuff. What was that? Today's adventure will be slightly nautical. Who doesn't love a good ride on the way should... That's the water and the, the ocean and waves all put in one word. <laughs> the first article I read was, what's great is that these are actual news articles. In an area of Sweden, there's this body of water called the Sound, and in the Sound, there is a fish. <laughs> I was gonna say waves. <laughs> in the Sound, there are these fish that come from South America. They are related to the piranha. They're called Paku, okay. right? The difference between Paku and the piranhas are the paku don't have sharp teeth, they have flat molar-like teeth that's used to crush nuts and berries and things like that. However, they have gained a reputation notoriously for attacking specifically men's genitalia. Well, that makes sense. So there is... They crush nuts and berries. Oh my gosh. There was a news, there was literally a news release. The, the, the people in this area of Sweden released a warning to everybody who might go swimming in the sound to do it and make sure that your bathing suit stays securely on you because your testicles are in danger. They have flat teeth, like humans, right? Fish, yeah. <laughs> Does that not look funny in your head? The picture looks rather funny, but it looks funnier that they specifically attack testicles. Like, that's... I don't know. In my brain, that totally makes sense. If what they're hunting for are round, some semi-oval objects that are floating in the water, it makes sense that, yeah, you want to keep your bathing suit on, because if you don't... I just can't believe that they had to release it. Like a... Like a... I wouldn't Public mind service announcement. Could you imagine if on the news stations there was that that sound like we have when a hurricane? <laughs> this is a public service announcement. Watch out for those fish that eat your balls. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if they have soft, soft lips. I think that might be an okay place to go hang out. Another article about sea life popped up. The University of Delaware. They are studying sand tiger sharks. Sand tiger so sharks. They okay. go out on a boat and they cast uh, a line with this thing called a menhaden, which is just a small fish that's used as bait okay. that the, tiger, the sand tiger sharks like to eat. However, dogfish also like to eat them. Dogfish are about three feet long shark. So they cast the bait immediately. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Immediately, a dogfish goes for the bait. Okay. Immediately there, that was bad. Damn. Thanks, Sam Adams. Continue. <laughs> Immediately after they cast the bait, the dogfish takes the bait. Immediately after the dogfish takes the bait, a sand tiger shark takes the dogfish, and they catch the sand tiger shark, which is attached to the dogfish, which is attached to the bait. And the reason why I bring this up is because the headline was the Turduncan of the Sea. The turducken of the sea. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? 
So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take this other fish that I can't remember the name of because it's long and weird, and we're gonna catch a dogfish with it, and then we're gonna put a fucking shark on the outside of it, and guess what? We're gonna eat it! It sounds like fucking Paula Deen's next recipe. Oh, Paula Deen and your bad words that you used 30 years ago. That, that story blew my mind. Oh, you did that in another lifetime? Well, you can't have that job. So look, the moral of the story there is that the only reason it got brought up is it, it brings light to the fact that our country is too litigious. Our mm -hmm. country allows too much you know, loopholes and craziness regarding the laws to just let things like that get tangled up in it. In the name of being politically correct, we've gone too far with it. So now it's like... yeah. You know, the, the past is going to come back and attack this TV All personality. All these nappy-headed hoes in government are just messing stuff up. In 30 years, you're going to regret this. I, you know what? <laughs> Someone turned gay or fast. Someone turned into a butthole taker. How do you know I'm a bottom? I said a butthole taker. That makes you a top. You take oh, the anus. Yes. I'm glad that your Freudian slip just happened there, though. Good call. <laughs> it irritates me that we live in a society where people are so... I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. When what are you doing? Yeah. I know how you feel now. <laughs> <laughs>